Hello there ladies and gents, and welcome back to my Scum single player series. So, you join me just at the bottom of the chaotic village where we were last time. <laughs> and I have now changed my settings. I have adjusted them, I've played around with them, and again this is kind of like a test run through kind of thing. Um, just to see how it goes. But um, for now, we're going to head down to this little town because there are some garages there. And I also need to put a box together because I've got quite a lot of stuff. I've already made myself a stone head axe. But I need a bush for a long stick. And I cannot find a bush. But we're going to head down there. But what I wanted to talk about today is that 0.95 has been getting quite a lot of bad press and I just wanted to run through my personal opinions <clears throat> and maybe some improvements that they could make for 0 0.95 um, overall I like it I like the horde system meaning and when I say that is I mean I like the fact that if you make too much noise they do the scream and they trigger the hordes that run in from every direction. That's cool. That I like. What I don't like, and I think what most of the community don't like, is the fact that the puppets now spawn in two feet in front of you. That is... Uh, I have to say it politely. That is not the best. Is that a bush? That is not the best. I mean, it, it's kind of annoying to start with. But again, this is a game. But, you know, you're running. Yes, that is a bush. Good. You're running and then all of a sudden, 20 puppets spawn in front of you out of the blue. Okay, that is, that's bad. It shouldn't be like that. They should spawn in at least a bit further away. Uh, so, you know, you've actually got some visual on them like it used to be, you know, like for example now, probably down, just down where that, you can just see that brown field, probably just down here is where normally I would have seen on 0 0.9 in the previous versions, I would have seen puppets start spawning in. Yeah, so you'd see them pop up randomly over here. That's okay, because that gives you some... Uh, that gives you some, what is the word I want? Can I not build, oh, is rope, what do you need for rope? I can't remember now. You need five rag pieces. Um, that would give you some sort of indication. Okay, so, you know, there's danger there. And also it's even more worse when you're in buildings and stuff like that that's you know doing the bunkers and things like that that's for a solo player anyway i know that they have said that uh for 0 0.95 really it sh should be i'm not going to say it should be completely a multiplayer game but they have made it a lot harder for single player players put it that way um that is my now I can build that or craft that rather and they did say that during the the Q and A's and even the stream event that they did for 0 0.95 they did say that it is going to be crap, a lot harder for single player people so that's one thing it needs in my opinion it needs fixing I mean, I preferred it how it was on 0 0.9 with my higher settings. Because if you saw the episode where I went into the city with 20 times puppets, or 18 times puppets, sorry. You know, it was almost impossible. And that, to me, was a horde in itself. That, that's what I would consider a horde in itself. But like I said, I do like the mechanics of the puppets screaming and attracting more that is good i do like that 
Um, so yeah, in, in general, I do like it. Obviously, it's still in early access, so hopefully they'll do some fixes and things like that. And, and yeah, it's been getting quite a lot of bad press recently, and I've noticed that quite a few players, or YouTubers, streamers, whoever, whatever you want to call them, who actually play regularly, have sort of taken a break because they don't like it. Chicken. The other thing... There he is. The other thing that... Um, is that another chicken? Or two chickens? For me personally, is I always like realism in games. Now I know that's kind of controversial because you're supposed to play games to get away from the real world. Which yes, I do. Of course I do, like everybody does. But there is an element of realism in the game that is just, it's my thing. That, that's what I like. Um, that, that's my vibe. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of fantasy games. I do play them from time to time, but I'm not the biggest fan of them. Um, and it all started with the OG Mafia, if you remember that game. Not the definitive edition which they released and they completely, in my opinion, destroyed the original characters who were in that game. But the OG Mafia, the original Mafia from 2002, I think it was, or 2001, that was the first game that I played where you actually had to put petrol in the car. And I was like, this is insane. This is amazing. You know, it's all the little senses of realism that is, for me, what makes a game a game. I know, obviously, GTA 6, yeah, when that comes out, or even GTA 5. I'm not going to go around and steal cars and start shooting people with Uzis through the window in real life. No. But, you know, a sense of realism, it all depends on your playstyle as well and how you like to play the games. Like me, I prefer realism. There are some people there who think, no, I don't want any realism. It's a game. It should be able to do what I want, when I want, how I want. Yeah? And that's entirely up to you and your opinion. Which is fine. For me, it's realism. And that's what I like. I remember, uh, if, if you ever played the OG map here, the mission where you have to go and do the race. Right? I remember... Oh, I've got no room for my corn... Uh, I remember that you have to, you, you arrive at Salieri's, it's the first time that you get the, the, I can't remember the name of the vehicle now, but it's the, the cherry red looking OG vehicle. Sentry, let's see, Sentry's spawn in fine. See, I can see him a mile off, that's perfectly fine. That made me jump. Um, oh, I want you on one. There we go. Um, right, let's just get a few more arrows whilst I'm here. Yeah, you have to go. That's the first time you get that car. I can't remember. Ralph teaches you how to lockpick it. You get that car. And then what you have to do is you have to drive to the mechanic's name. that I can't remember now. You have to drive to the, sorry, you have to drive to the racetrack, pick up the car, the race car, and then drive it to the, the, the funky mechanic. He will twinkle with it, and then you have to drive it back. But then, in order to finish the mission, you actually have to get back into your vehicle and return to Salvieri's to finish the mission. And for me, I thought that was just awesome, because, you know... You, you would have to do that in real life. Ah, uh, what can I get rid of here? What can I get rid of? I need to make some room for my arrows. Uh, let's get rid of those. Um, hmm. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, I don't know what to get rid of here. Let's get rid of those. There's only four of those. There we go. Right. Yeah, and that, that 
that game for me started my whole realism obsession, if you like. And I think the fact now that the puppets in Scum spawn two feet in front of you, for me, it has taken that sense away a little bit. And I also think, you know, for some other people as well, I'm not saying everybody, but for some other people as well, I think it also has taken that that sense of immersion. That's the word I want. That's the word I was looking for. I couldn't think of it. Because there is a sense of immersion when you play this game. There is when you play any game, really. You know, you have to be immersed in it and you have to enjoy it. And I think the fact that the puppets just appear now, literally just appear out of the blue, uh, I think it's got quite a lot of people concerned. But hopefully, you know, like I said, the scum, the scum devs are very good at issuing fixes. I know there hasn't been one in a while, but we're still in the Christmas period. Kind of. New Year Christmas period. But what they did post uh, yesterday or the day before? I can't remember now. A few days ago, anyway. Oh, hello. Let's see. That's fine. That That is acceptable. You know, you can see him. So we know there's a threat in the area. That's okay. Um, yeah, what they did post, they are currently doing a Q&A, not a Q&A, that's the wrong word, they're currently doing a survey, where you can give your feedback, you can, um, talk about what improvements you want to do, ooh, a gun, you can talk about what improvements you want to do, etc, um, Currently, it's only for the UK, I think, at the moment. Um, so, if you're in the UK, you should be able to take part of that, take part in that survey. Uh, if you're outside the UK, then you can't. Did I trigger someone, or is it just someone walking? I oh, know, someone walking. Thought I triggered someone. Um. So yeah, you can take part in that. Uh, it's on their Steam page. If you go to their Steam page, you should be able to see... Well, oh, there's a 12 and there's a 13, right? No, not the T. I get rid of my T. Are you crazy? T, man. Whoops. Got you. There we go. Put him down. See, this, this is now immersive, yeah? You got the rain, right? A bit of blue kai, but you got the rain, you got the puppets in the distance, you got the dimmed lighting. You know, th this this is immersive. Ooh. And this is what I, uh, no, thank you. What I like. Get rid of these. Come on. You bitch. Thank you. Must remember to get my arrows back. Yeah, this this is immersive. You had more than one arrow in you. And this is what I like. Another good point about 0 0.95, again, which you just saw there, was the ragdoll effect. I love the ragdoll effect. And I think a lot of people do love the ragdoll effect, the way that they just fall backwards and collapse. Um, you know, it is really, really good. So there are pros and cons to it. But that's all I can say, really, is that there are pros and cons to it. I think the horde system... Jesus Christ, that made me jump. Holy hell. Those things always make me jump, those those skill upgrades. Bloody hell, man. My heart's going now. Tell you that. But yeah, I think... Like I was saying, there are pros and cons. You know, there are good things that come with it. Yellow, amber, pink. Ooh. Did you paint your bow? Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Oh, they've changed this now. Paint solid color. We can. Now it just looks like bamboo, kind of. Dried bamboo. Um, so yeah, pros and cons. Everything so far is good apart from the horde system. I think the horde system does need working. Well, I don't even know if it's part of the horde system. The fact that they spawn two feet in front of you. I don't know. But whatever system that is part of, or whatever they changed in the code for that, I mean, it might be related to the horde system. I think they should uh, change it back to how it was. Keep, if they can do, of course, obviously, I don't know. I don't know what the core code is, but keep the horde system as it is, where they, they scream and they attract other ones, and you have the ability to adjust know how many puppets in a in a in a horde right I was meant to build a box I was meant to do um, there we go. so yeah I was gonna say something else now and I've just forgot what the hell was it literally just came into my head 30 seconds ago now it's gone out of my head. Uh, what was I going to say? Ah, yeah, that was it. Just remembered now. It's about the server settings. And I don't know why they do it. I mean, I, I guess I know why they do it. What? Why is there an arrow in here? Okay. I guess I know why they do it, because that's how it's coded, actually. Word coded, and it has to match the wording of the code in the XML files and in the other files that you have. You know, it's how it's written there, and it's when the game is looking for something, it is, it's triggered to look for that exact terminology of how it's written. And... Um, that's why it's like how it is. But I really do wish that sometimes they could just make it a lot simpler. Oh, hello. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Let me just get to a safe place if I can. Uh... Which is not so easy now that they can break down doors. Before, you would be fairly safe in here, but not anymore. There's a lot of knives. What I mean is... Stuff like this. Uh, okay, so it's, it's, it's a multiplier. So you're timesing this value for the main... Heading. So everything is linked to one kind of thing. So you've got the main, you've got the main part, if you like, which you change, and then you've got the multiplier, which will multiply this number by that by two or by four or by five or whatever it is. But why can't they just make these things simpler? Why can't it just be um, number of puppets in world max, and then they give you a max value, a max, a max value, number of uh, suicide puppets in world, whatever. And all games do it. Like I said, I know why, because this is the exact tag that they're looking for in certain aspects of the code. But why can't they just make it, you know, easier? Simpler. Simple English. Number of puppets, number of vehicles. I mean, in terms of vehicles, alright, you do have some settings like that. But then, for example, the multipliers, what they need is this, a little short description... It doesn't have to be in the game, it can be in the patch notes that come with it, you know, because some of the descriptions are a little bit funky. You know, this value will multiply the amount of puppets you have. And then give an example, if you have got times two puppets set, this, this value will multiply that by, again, however much you set it, whatever, yeah? Because not everyone has 
an in-depth computer brain and knows how all these code values work and how they should be designed and stuff like that. And I've also seen, you know, a lot of people have been suffering with the settings, including myself, for the Horde uh, update and how to set it all out properly to how you want it or how server owners want it and things like that. So they, they just need to spend a bit more time... Oh, well, there's 15 and 15. So we've gone 12, 13, and now 15. Uh, they just need to spend a bit more time making it a bit more user interface user friendly basically is what i would say you know and then that would be sweet really if they could do that and i think everybody i think the whole community would appreciate just the fact that it's simple easy that's the that's what it is going to change so if i put three here oh my god i'm being a potato Uh. But if I put the value It's still early access If I put the value 3 This is what it's going to change You know, just simple That is what is needed As well, in my opinion But other than that, you know, I've been ranting on for quite a bit now Oh, what a shot See, that ragdoll effect was awesome Um Yeah, I've been ranting on for quite a bit now. But in, in overall, I, I'm I, I'm with Scum. I've been playing Scum for ages. I love the game. I love the premise of the game. I think it's awesome. Yes, it still has a few bugs. Okay, it's early access. Things are going to be changed, hopefully. You know, things... I think every time they release an update like this... Everybody says it's going to, including myself, everybody says, oh, it's going to change the narrative of the game. It's going to change the narrative of the game. Eee, what? Oh. I mean, the. There we go. I got rid of him. Um. Oh, give. Thank you. And it, it, that is, that statement, it's going to change the narrative of the game, is true. It does. But I think the biggest thing is going to change is when they introduce the AI and the NPCs walking around. Because, eat that. Because in all the zombie movies and all the, all the things like that, the puppets, the zombies are actually not necessarily the main port of concern. The main port of concern is the other factions. The other groups of humans. Because it's basically every man for himself. And you may find a group of survivors and, you know, they get into it with another group. You know, we've seen it all. We know how it all works. Ooh, hello. Do you have a henjin? I don't think you do have a henjin. You do! You do have an engine, and you have a driver's seat. So you're missing one, two, three wheels. And that is uh, a back left light for a ranger. Okay, so maybe I don't need to build a box. Maybe I can just leave everything in the car here then. That's actually not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Let's get rid of all the stuff that I don't need right now. Because it's just weighing me down quite a lot. Uh, before we put that away, let's just repair that. And I, you know, I still will be playing Scum. I still will be playing. I'm excited for 0 0.1 like everyone else is. 0 0.1? No, not 0 0.1. 1.0. Like everyone else is. Uh, I don't need the axe anymore. Um, matches I'll keep just in case. Money I don't need. Needle I don't need. Bread I don't need. Lock I do need. Uh, that I don't need. I don't need. Bear with me. Let me get rid of this. Uh, that's got two. That's got six. Milk. One of those. Do the other one. Batteries. Okay, right, there we go. That's better. Made a bit more 
room now. A bit more room. I'm a bit lighter on my feet. I can run a bit faster. What I do want to do is just add that to that. There we go. Just in case we find a shotgun. Although, that will be very loud, so it may not be the best, best choice of weapon, but it will do. Right, okay. Uh, TNT in there. Cool. Uh, and that in there. Where did my bow go now? There you are. Okay. Right. Now we can put that back on there. Good. Now we're a bit lighter. Yes. 2.8 as opposed to 16 or whatever I was. So yeah, I think it does need some work. I'm still going to play it. I'm still excited for it. And I think you just have to, you know, bite your lip a little bit and just sort of go with it. Um, in terms of the current version. And, you know, if you choose to stop playing with, stop playing it until they fix it, then that's completely fine as well. But for now, I mean, I've changed these settings and you can see already that this, again, having said that, this might be because it is a low tier zone. It's not a medium zone. Maybe if we head back to where the police station was, uh, it may still be the same. Oh, watering can. It may still be the same. Hey, car battery. Uh, no, no, not now. Oh, yeah. Ooh, by the way. So, yeah. Pros and cons. It just... have to remember, it is still early access. And with any game, there's going to be bugs. Basically. And they just take a few, you know, a little bit of time to iron out. That's all. But I'm sure that the scub devs will get there eventually. Give them a bit of time. So yeah, that is my thoughts on 0 0.95. And now... And now what we need to do... Is go and put the battery in the car. Did I do these buildings? Oh, hello. Ooh. I missed. Didn't miss that time, did I? I didn't miss you then. I can't remember if I did. I think I'm pretty sure I did this building because the gate is open. But I cannot remember. Yes, I did this stuff on the floor. Okay. All right, let's go and put this battery in the car. See, look at the skybox. It looks beautiful. Okay. Uh-oh. See, that might be because they spawned into the forest. Already aggroed. That might have been because of that. That's... Again, that's part of the settings that they need to fix. If we close that, does this have a battery? I've just triggered another one, haven't I? Yeah. That's so creepy. Where is he? There he is. Creepy sounds, man. Creepy sounds. Right. Take those back. Did I do this building? I can't remember. Yes, stuff on the floor. Yes. I need that one. Right, I need to eat. Uh, in terms of a safe place, it just occurred to me what you can do uh, I need the jack, don't I? No, I don't. Not for the car battery. You're five. And you're 15. So we'll just put those in there for now. 
Uh, I need to eat because my belly is grumbling. Eat the corn. How are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah, we're okay. Ooh, I need to drink. Yes, 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 yes. Must drink. And we'll eat that one as well. It'll make me very thirsty because it's very dry. Come on. Let's just chow down on this and then let's wash it all down with a nice cold glass of milk. Which is the wrong one? Get my stomach contents up to about 75. 66, 58, 72, 4, that will do. Oh, and we've still got two uses of that left. Nice. Right, in terms of a safe place, what has just occurred to me? They have returned. Over there, look. What you can do is if we go round here, We enter this building through said window. Upstairs. Yeah, not through said window. You enter building. Uh, where the hell is he? Did he just break in my door? Oh, he broke out of there. Okay. I think he's underneath me now. Yep, there he is. Shut up. Don't want you triggering no horde. So yeah, the safest place now, really, is on a roof. And as I saw, this can be a bit tricky. There we go. You've got to get the line right. And now th this is actually the safest place to be. Is on a roof. Because they can't jump this high. And there are no doors or anything for them to break through. So And you get a nice view. So actually being on a roof is the safest place to be. I'll have to see if you can build on a roof. Uh, crafting. Is it a box? Not box. What's it called? Um, it's improvised. Where is it now? Where is it now? Uh, okay, am I going crazy? Ah, base building tab. Donkey. Can you? Ah, you can place it on the building. Okay. Can you place a bed? Uh, that I think you need a, a overlapping. No, you can't place a bed. That's a pain. Uh, what about a shelter? No. Okay. Okay, never mind. Uh, destroy that. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I think that's where I'm going to leave it. This was a shorter one, and I think you've heard enough of me rambling on. But so far, the settings that I've changed seem to be working okay. But again, I'm not sure because this is a lower tier area because there's no police station here. We shall see what happens when we enter that place. I fear that may be death on a very high level. So, yeah, I think we're going to go there next episode. Oh! Wow, almost fell off. We're probably going to pop in there next episode when the sun comes up. I'm going to get some shut eye on this roof. Uh, let me just see if I can get rid of muggins here. 
Bugger. Bugger. Thank you. Yeah. This is the safest place to be now. It's on a roof. And we can just sit down. Obviously, you can't get a fire or anything going, but, you know, this is the safest place to be. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, again, completely up to everybody in their own opinion on what they think, but that's my personal thoughts. So, before it gets too dark, I shall say thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that little notification bell so you get notified when my videos go live. And as always, I'll catch you all on the next one.